what's up Ellie Shadow Lady here and welcome back to Shadowcraft. Today, as the title says, we're going to be building some greenhouses for my crops instead of these stupid fenced off things because I think a greenhouse would look quite pretty, especially because I just downloaded this texture pack which gives me clear glass with kind of a black outline. I think it's going to look awesome, but before we do any of that, I got a comment on my last video saying I should make a, like an arch over my bed. Um, so I'm going to give that a go because I think that would look quite nice. Let's go get some wood. <laughs> get wood. Yeah, that looks like kind of okay. I don't know if that's what she meant. <laughs> but that's what we're doing. Oh, also you guys you guys got mad at me because I'm using the furniture mod and I didn't use bedside cabinets. <laughs> what a silly thing of me to do. So um, this is how you make a bedside cabinet. You get all this here. And then these two chests here. I actually have just enough chests, well, I have a little extra to make two, so one for each side, because that's what logic would do, and we all like to be logical, so, alright, the thing is, I'm using 1.5.2, and um, how do I say, how do I get Nemo without, okay, let's just put you here for now, um, what was I saying again, the thing about 1.5.2 is that you can't place things on top of the bedside cabinets directly. Let me show you an example with like a block of dirt. See it just like opens it even if you press control or whatever it is, shift. Oh no, it just doesn't work. So um, what I'm gonna have to do is, this This is a really cool trick that I wouldn't have thought of unless Joel had suggested it to me. So I'm gonna put this here. Uh oh no wait hang on. Let me get, let me get rid of this first because otherwise we might kill Nemo. <laughs> right so I get this on my head and I go here like so, and then I put it down, and then very carefully remove this block and put the bedside cabinet underneath it. Isn't that sweet? It's like a sweet idea. So um, I might try to put some flowers here, and maybe just have another fish over here. So let's go catch another fish really quickly. Actually, let's let's sleep because that goat is about to eat my sofa. When I wake up, Nemo is right in my face. Right in my face. Get all out of my face. He's all in my face. You wanna you wanna go? You wanna go, Nemo? You wanna fight? You starting something? Where did I put all my sand? Oh no. Right. Um fish bowl. Oh my god. What's going on today? I've not played Minecraft in a whole two days and I have lost the ability to Minecraft. Okay. Hello, Mr. Fish. I wanna find an attractive fish this time. Oh, is that one different? <gasps> that one's not Nemo, that's slightly different. Or is it? Is that the same as Nemo? Wait, that one is actually Nemo. Does my other fish have that kind of stuff? Wait, well, let me pick him up. Why can't I pick him up? Oh, a squid. <gasps> Dory! Oh, yeah, that's perfect if I actually get Dory. Ooh! Uh oh, oh, what have I done? Well, let's call it Dory. I'm gonna go ahead and assume what happened. Oh, no, I just named it. I want, I want, oh my god, no. What have I done? Get in. Get in. Okay, apparently Jory has duplicated herself and she's also in the bowl as well as being there in the pond, named. So, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Let's put Dory on this side here. Are you ready, Dory? Okay, are you on my head? No, you're there. What are you doing? Okay, let's be really careful. I don't want to squish you. Okay, good. And then get out. Oh, you kind of, you kind of <laughs> spilling over onto the bedside table there. Okay, there we go. No, that's not where we go. Okay, this is proving a little more difficult than I anticipated. Dory, Ugh. you're as derpy as you are in the movie. Man, what the heck? Okay, I'll try here. How? <gasps> Where'd you go? No. She gone. Let's make another fish bowl. What is that? That's a oh, that's so cute. Oh, I thought it was like a little baby shark. Hey, sting, stingray. Oh, fur, 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 fur. What was that? What was that? What was that? I don't know. Hello, little panda. What are you? Right, there are loads of fish here. What kind of fish shall we get? Let's get a green one. Oh no, I've named it again. How do you bloody get in here? Oh god, 
something's killing me. What's killing me? I don't know what's killing me. It's a snake. It's a water snake. <laughs> just go, just go, just go. Okay, just go. I'm going. Oh my god, lag. Let's, uh, let's position you right, shall we? I think if you get stuck between two blocks, that's when it becomes a problem. Oh, <gasps> no! Okay, I'm just gonna start spawning them in because this is ridiculous. Okay, um, sorry, could you kindly just not keep on swimming? Because it's kind, of, it's kind of annoying. Okay, I have you in my bowl. I'm gonna try to get you as well. Okay, get, yep. Yeah, okay, we've got a few dories. Multiplications of the same one, really. We we'll just keep getting all the dories. Okay, we have six dories now. <laughs> because, um, apparently there's a glitch in the matrix. And, um, dory has spawned in several times. Okay, maybe just Dory's are broken. We are we all knew that. If you've ever seen Finding Nemo, you know that Dory is slightly broken. That might be as good as it gets. Yeah, I think you know, I think that's not too bad. I think that's um Where's my bookshelf? Where oh, I have to make it again? Oh, I didn't know that you couldn't break bookshelves. Somebody could have told me before I did that. I'm pretty sure this is not what that person meant when they said build an arch, but this is what's happened. So, yeah, you're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> Hang on, it's it's wonky. Oh man, we should sleep because it actually got dark and that whole fiasco. Oh, I woke up beside Dory. <laughs> if you sleep on this side, you wake up in front of Nemo and if you sleep on this side, you wake up inside of Dory. That's so cool. Okay, so. Today, like I said, I have something really cool planned for the farms. I'm going to make greenhouses, so we're going to need a lot of sand to make the glass for the greenhouses. Um, so let's let's go on like a little adventure. So I know that there's an ocean on kind of the other side of this huge mountain, which is really awkward to cross. I'm going to go over to see by the, the blue tree, because I actually haven't been up close to it yet. Red. Ooh. Okay, it looks like it looks like blue with sprinkles. Um, I guess that that looks okay. I think this way is the beach. This biome has lots of pits of slow sand, quicksand, which is dangerous. I plan on taming turtles soon. I know where to find them now. I have found the ocean. I might take all the sand from oh right here because there's loads. Sweet. Okay, perfect. Two blocks exactly. Right, um, my house. Oh, I have a, a marker pointing right to it. Let's have a look at uh, what Operation Greenhouse is going to be like. Stay out of here. I'm going to have to replace a block, a fence block, with a grass block every time I put one down, because otherwise the creatures are just going to get... <laughs> He's stuck in there now. Just walking all over. Okay, I know how to entice him out. Hey buddy, look what I got. You idiot, you jumped all over everything. Let's um, harvest all this stuff and move all these because I think we'll probably end up moving all the crops anyway, so. I feel bad for doing this because like, I spent so long. You know, the animals made it look easy destroying crops. This is actually pretty hard. So I've been playing with the design and I really don't know how to make this look good because the glass does not look good on its own, as you can imagine. So, um, there's a turkey in there. So I, I tried to use this um, blue wood, which is from the blue tree over there. And uh, I think it looks okay. It looks quite cute for like a, a greenhouse. Although technically it would be a blue house. So I might try do the other parts with it. So I'm going to collect the wood from this blue tree up here. I know quite a few of you wanted me to build a tree house in it and stuff like that. Is that piranha? Yep. But um, I'm hoping it will drop some saplings so that we can plant it maybe closer to my house. Maybe that would be even better if I could build a tree house in it while it's close to my house. There are other trees around anyway. This isn't the only blue tree in the whole, in the whole universe. So I'm finding out what happens when you go into quicksand. You apparently die. Well, that sucks. One century later.
So I think these greenhouses, since they are quite limited space, are going to be for like, oh my god, for the special things only, like um, the Pam's Harvest Craft seeds, which give you like crazy things like garlic and onions. And we'll just put the wheat field maybe like behind it or something and just double fence it so that things don't jump over. So um, we were working on the farm yesterday. Oh, there's one of those. Ah, what? I never did anything to you. In fact, I like your hairdo. Hmm. I'll beat you to death with this lamb shop. I was looking at something over there, but now it's gone. That was your fault. Friggin' hell, raccoon. You need to get out of here, man. Seriously. Just get... Oh, oh here. Okay. So, I, I've completed my farm. I actually used Joel's method of putting some of these like floating torches i mean they're kind of floating but not really they're attached to finches fin finches so um they don't look too weird um some things have been in here while i was doing this and destroyed my crops which is quite aggravating right now we can go and sleep because today is over today is done i think we accomplished a lot i think these greenhouses will be the best thing that happened to farming since uh since whatever goods that's happening to farming blah, 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 since whatever good that's happened to farming lately so i'm gonna sit by the fire sit by the fire well i'm not actually anywhere near the fire hmm. and just um enjoy the sounds of the night